Hello, my name is Kira, and um, I'm playing Thief of Thieves. I don't know much about this game. I actually know nothing about this game. It's on the Game Pass, and um, I think it's like an adventure game, maybe. I have no idea. But I decided to give it a go, because that's what this little thing is all about today. So, um, basically, with all the having a go, um, game series. All I'm going to be doing is basically playing through about an hour of the gameplay um, and then see if I like it or not. Um, unfortunately, I tried to make a video of this um, with uh, Titanfall 2. Um, I tried to do that by streaming and it did not work out very well, so I'm not going to be able to do that. Run. Sneak. Team action. Special action. 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 Change camera. Look for actions. Pause. Move. Intuition. Bolt dash. This is going to be hard. There's a lot of buttons to remember. But more importantly, all the sounds are too loud. I've also kind of like changed up the way I'm sort of doing things, so it might just be um, me that's feeling that it's too loud. Either way, I'll adjust it for you guys, because I am recording the audio for... Um, myself and the game separately so we'll see how all of this goes let's have a look at what this is i thought this was kind of to be honest like a telltale game um it says season one and stuff so i thought it was one of those things but but then i wouldn't know what they look like either because i've never played a telltale game but this is thief of thieves and uh i don't know what it's about but I'll be able to tell you later on, like eventually, what it's about and how I liked it or not. Rival Games presents. Airport, Los Angeles. Oh, I like the shoes. Use left stick to move. Okay. I like this so far. Use left stick to move. Up and down. Don't get in my way. Okay, stop moving. Alright. What is it? PC Airport. Really nice shoes. Really sexy legs. That's all I can tell from now on. At this point, anyway. Maybe to the elevator? Okay, move up. I am pressing A. Right. Okay. Starring. Timeless for men. Good morning to you too, Conrad. Welcome back to America. How was the flight? Okay. Okay. I think airplanes are starting to lose their glamour for me. That was fast. Transatlantic is no joke. <laughs> it gets less funny by the year, trust me. So, what's the luggage situation? Why do you ask? Oh, well, just planning ahead. You know what the plan is. Me, in a bubble bath, decompressing something fierce. Hmm, I'm sure you'll get there yet. I'd better. There are some things we need to go over, but that can wait until you get through customs. Mm -hmm. Just keep it short, okay? We're not in a rush, are we? Well, just get through customs first. Okay, okay, hold your horses. Sounds like Conrad is ready to uh, cut us loose if we can't make it through customs. With whatever our luggage situation is. Celia, you got company. Look sharp. Switch to your earplug now. Excuse me, miss. Could you come with us, please? Huh? What's going on? 
You've been selected for a repatriation interview. Mm -hmm. This way. The hell is this? Don't panic. You were in Italy to track down Redmond on my dime, got it? What? You may have found him too, only his name is Pavoni. Okay, I hear you. Okay. Volume 1 Party and Lossini. Well now, Miss Kowalczyk. So, you know my name, huh? Could I ask for yours? I am Agent Aikida, and... Of... Excuse me? You sure ain't CBP? So who are you an agent of? Don't get in her face too much yet. There'll be plenty of time for that later. Of course. I work in an interdepartmental task force out of Quantico. Quite FBI. Mouthful, isn't it? And don't let her fool you now. She's a lot smarter than the badge lets on. I'd like to ask you some questions concerning your movements mm -hmm. in the last year. You can try, but I got a pretty terrible memory sometimes. Now, this trip to New York four months ago, can you tell me about that? Sure. I was there to meet up with my boss, Conrad Paulson. We're security consultants. He's the one who sent me to Europe, too. It was kind of screwy, to be honest. We'll talk about Europe in a bit, but how do you mean, screwy? See, there's this guy, or I guess most people would call him a myth, Redmond. Hmm, Redmond. Mm. Now there's a name. Ah, see? The power of branding. The boss has some wild hair up his ass about the guy, so he sent me to find him. Colorfully put. So tell me then, did you find this... Redmond? Yeah, I think I might have. I don't know if I should talk about it though, I mean, other than with my boss. Well, that is a shame. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to hand this over to those Homeland Security boys. Oh, they're such pests, you know. Mm -mm. What? Are you kidding me? I almost believe you myself. Keep going. Mm -mm. Is this like a text adventure game? It feels like a text adventure game. <sighs> so I met with the boss in New York for a conference. You know, massages, hot tub meetings with clients, open bar networking. Mm -hmm. This is going what actually to happened. Suck. I love that. There you are, Celia. Shall we? Time to face the music. Hey there. Conrad Paulson, my mentor. I think he's gonna flunk me today. Sorry, not Conrad. Redmond. A thief is a brand, Celia. And brands hold power. Let's talk inside. I've been meaning to see this exhibition for months. The collector I know consulted on it. Medical company? Anyway, the buyer has been calling me every two hours since yesterday. How did the job go? Funny story. It's a funny story, actually. Funny, yeah. About a half a million dollars worth of funny, I hope. Let's take this from the beginning. I did a bit of research on our charming Mark, Bogdan Losev, also known as the Moose, former Russian mob, currently a law-abiding businessman and a collector of vintage motorcycles and cars. He's gone legit for real, apparently. Lives in the Hollywood Hills in a tasteful little stilt house where he was throwing a party. 
The good news is that getting in was a breeze. Mm-hmm. Um, sneak. Sneak is RP, Volt is LT. So we're going to sneak in and steal. Okay, what is this the whole story within a story within a story BS? Oh, God. I'm getting a distinct feeling I'm going to have to end up playing through this actual game entirely because I'm probably going to be too curious not to. Mild problem. But it's okay. Could be worse. Depending on the mechanics, though. I'm not sure if I can actually play the game well or not. Might be too hard. When I arrived at the villa, the gate was open. But one of Bogdan's goons was blocking the way. I gather getting past him wasn't a problem. Nah. Piece of cake. Mm, left analog stick to move. Still the bike kept past the guard. Uh, what was it? The check checkpoints? Like, oh. uh, okay, no. I'm not go I can't go that way. Changing perspective a little bit. I was only paying attention to over there. Hold it right there. You trying to sneak in, hoodie girl? Uh, delivery. I have a delivery for Mr. Losa for the party. Go on in then. You just waltzed by him, just like that. Just like soon. that. Oh. Maybe you should mentor me. Hey. What? Come on, we have to check the bike. Oh, shit, man. All right, I'm coming. Mm -hmm. Piece of shit door is stuck again. The rail's mm -hmm. bent, I'm telling you. Who cares? It's not like someone's gonna sneak in here. I'll stay by the cars anyway. Suit yourself. I'm gonna go check the bike. Mm-hmm. Nice of that door to get stuck like that. Right bumper to crouch. Alright. It looks like Bogdan got his old biker buddies to handle the security. Where's the bike? Sneak out. Maybe I need to get some more clues, maybe, first? was a huge crowd at the entrance and I wasn't dressed for a party so I chose another okay. way okay is there another something I can use as a distraction I am thinking very much hitman sort of way by the way can't help it it's what I'm used to when it comes to any sort of stealth games um Mechanic guy. In the shade. Off screen guard sidebar is looking, not looking. Oh. Okay, this camera angle thingy is making things very, very difficult. The elevator was locked. Okay. One of the goons had the bike key, so I had to pick his pocket. We may want to make another run at Bogdan later and boost a couple of his cars. Mm. 
Okay, so I stole the keys. Yeah, does this guy go anywhere? Um, okay. Um, the workshop door was locked, but I could have picked that lock with a piece of wire. Keep the pin in the sweet spot. Hang on. was just waiting for someone to ride it into the sunset mm -hmm. the bike was in pristine condition like it was 1958 and it had just rolled out of the shop. right but how am I gonna spit steal it and get it out so I hopped on the bike and damn okay so I stole the bike how do I plan to get out of here with the bike this doesn't seem very smart I'm really supposed to believe that. Yeah, that's how it went down, but... I did have someone keep an eye on the house when you went in, you know. Mm, good one. <laughs> Should have known. So, busted, I guess. Yep. Let's start from the beginning and give the truth a go this time. Okay, so how did it go down? Use disguises for easier access. Eavesdropping gives useful info. Okay. I seem to kind of really like this game. Um, I'm not sure about the fixed camera angle issue, um, but then that is just something I'm not very used to, so I'm always going to have a bit of an issue with that. True story with them, most MMORPGs, aside from the early ones in like, you know, 2000s. I didn't really have these sort of problems. I went to Case Bogdan's place during the day. I needed to figure out a way into the house. Borrowing a catering uniform or pool service clothes was one choice. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you mean, borrow? What was I going to borrow? Okay. Where do you think you're going, man? Uh, the overalls? Might give you a hint. Oh, Ryan, you came for the pool. Ding, ding, ding. Hey, look at that. We have a winner. Uh, hold on. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, it turns out it's just me on the low sub job. Marsha couldn't make it. Mm. No, nothing like that. It was These guys? Uh, probably just some bad burritos. Take a uniform. All right. I slipped into the pool company overalls. It gave me free roam of the downstairs. Just had to avoid the pool boss man. Ugh, what pool company uses overalls anyway? Okay, pick lock. Um, I, I do like this storytelling sort of aspect to go with this. Oh, she does have a good little, like, saunter there. She's got a very sassy walk. I like it. I like it a great deal. All right. I considered changing into a catering staff uniform, but I had already been seen in the pool company overalls. Mm. There he was, the man of the house. Oh yeah, he's a lovely character. Right, are we going to be in trouble if we... Okay. 
Okay. Need to figure out where Bogdan is and he's drop on him, I guess. Where's the poor guy? Where's the big poor guy? Where's the boss poor guy? Bogdan was overseeing the preparations for the night, not suspecting anyone was following or eavesdropping on him. You there, go away. This is private business. Planting. Look, I'm only doing this only because of those insurance company assholes. I... no, I'll need it installed before the evening. The house will be full of people. I want the new system. You deliver the new system, I pay. What is so difficult? Okay, look. Here's what we do. You email me the manual, and I'll go through it today. All good, yes? Good. The alarm manual was in Bogdan's okay. office. I think that's upstairs. Okay. Uh -uh. One of the biker guys tried to look casual, but he was clearly keeping an eye on the hired help. He was Bogdan's bodyguard, security chief, or whatever. I decided it was better not to show my face to him. Okay. Um One okay. of the goons tried to act casual, but kept scanning people around him. Not someone to show your face to. Sneaking faster. Um, heck. The menu. I got in and went quickly through Bogdan's computer. Found the manual for the alarm, but unfortunately there was no handy email with the code for it. I got the alarm's model from the manual, though, so I decided to call someone who could help. What's up, C? I'm kind of in the middle of something, so make it quick. I need to get past a house alarm without the proper tools. It's an IGS-446B. Ooh, sounds like you're up shit's creek. Except you could try the duress code. What's that? You punch it in and the alarm looks like it shuts down. But actually it sends out a silent alarm to external security. No noise at this end, and I get a few moments before the security arrives? Exactly. Ooh. The duress code for the 446 series is 2580. Shit, got a dash. Good luck! Problem solved. I can make it out before Bogdan's security outfit arrived. No! Damn it, that was so bad. I couldn't tell where he was. It's like the one thing I'm missing right now from Hitman is the freaking minimap and Hitman Vision. I'm gonna few, spend a few moments looking here. And he's going to turn out and then come out into the balcony. I think that might be my opportunity to kind of like do a little bit of sneaking. Okay. What I might do is when he's stepping out into the balcony is to if we go back in. No, it's too risky. Let's just go through here. Go in here. Um. 
Is there anything in here of any interest? Bogdan had an elevator, in case he didn't want to drag his ass down a couple of sets of stairs. No way I could use it during the day without someone noticing. Hold it right there. Where do you think you're going? Okay. Hmm. I don't know what to do next. I need to find out where the bike is going to be. Uh, find out where the bike will be kept. Right, let's just go back outside and see how we're going to go outside. Um, this is like the party room. I see a hooker thing over there. Um, wait a Can I examine that? Examine. Bogdan seemed to like 70s porn film decor. Okay. Bogdan seemed to like 70s porn film decor. What? That doesn't help anyone, Celia. Maybe we need to go into the garage? Wait, who the hell are you and why are you wearing our overalls? Oh no! No! Wait. <gasps> mm. So what we've established so far is that we're a thief in training and we're trying to be the best thief in training. So um, examine. I can't set off the fire alarm. Um, and why is there no bedrooms in this house? Man, that's weird. That's just weird. The gin and tonic would have hit the spot, but I resisted I'm the temptation. I'm glad you are resisting the temptation, honey. Okay, blend in. What does that do for me right now? Bogdan, are you going to have another relevant conversation for me? No, you're not. No, it's really... Yeah, it's me again. So, where were we? Pwah, you know me, I don't like to talk about the money. <laughs> of course mm -hmm. I am joking. It was $468,000. Small change, yes. <laughs> the bike will be brought to my shop downstairs. Nobody's going to get it from there, huh? Ah, oh, you worry too much, my man. Relax. Light one of the cigars I sent you. The location of the bike established. Very good. Garage. Exit the villa now. Right. So I just had to listen to two of Bogdan's conversations. Well, that's not too bad. I'm supposing there was other ways to do this. Hey, boss. Could we go over there and have a word? Yeah. Well, when you say that, I become curious. Is there a way I can listen in? Hmm. 
Mm. Oh no, they disappeared. Oh, that's just cheating game. You can't just teleport them out. That's just bullshit. No. I think going out this way um, would be safer than going out the front door because I'm pretty sure that the um, pool guy is going to be to catch me if I go the other way. So I'll go this way. She does control pretty not very elegantly though. That is definitely one mild problem. Okay, now where is the pool guy? Okay. And ta-da. Got all the info I needed. So it was time to slip out. Not bad so far. Okay. I mean, why did I take one of the catering things? So, as a local, I'm sure you heard about the $500,000 motorcycle being stolen in May. What bike? That was my hot yoga month. I was too pooped to even watch the news. It was like boot camp, but you should try it. It really... Moving on, then. Mm-hmm. Hot yoga is actually not bad. I've tried it, like, twice. It was very, very hot. And I don't like sweating that much. I, I generally didn't like yoga. I'm not very flexible, and it was... Very slow paced. If I'm doing any sort of exercise thing, I generally like stuff like karate, mixed martial arts. I mean, MMA was a lot of fun, except for the whole possibly dislocating a shoulder issue. It's a big issue. Not a huge fan. Let's go. I went home to dress up for party and larceny. When I got back, I could hear the party half a mile away. Oh, nice heels, huh? Okay. Good evening, Mr. Asapenko, and welcome. Now, I'll wait here for my girl. Need a distraction. This guy seems chatty. Examine. There was no shortage of drunk and douchey guys at the party. There was a cocky looking guy outside, totally hammered, scanning the crowds. What's up? Huh? Going to the party? You going in? I've been to Los Angeles a bunch of times. I love how there are these gangster types too, not just Hollywood fakes. I thought I was going in, but now I'm stood up. Sorry, do I know you? Oh, I'm Renata. Nice to meet you. So, your plus one is a no-show, huh? Yeah, Galia, my girlfriend. She decided not to show up. And I, I feel you. Harsh, man. Getting stood up sucks. I'm sick of her bullshit. First time in weeks we could do something, but no, she vanishes. Mm. I know how you feel, like, really. My bae decided beer and a ball game was better company than me. Can't even get in by myself since the invitation is under his name. <gasps> hey, now I know I could be your plus one. Huh? Well, that sounds good, but... No, listen, to hell with those sad sacks. Let's go party and have some fun together. You know what? Screw Kalia. Let's go. I'll show you a good time, yeah? Yeah, sure. Good time it is. Well, there you go. Social engineering. Really like that. Good evening. Your names, please? Evening. Marina Osipenko. She's with me. Let me see. Mr. Osipenko. 
Ah, uh, here we go. Welcome. Thank you. Sure. You just said that your girlfriend vanished on you, and okay. Ossie Panko told me to follow him upstairs. Okay. Is this a house or a bar? Club. Ah. Okay. Okay. We're gonna have such a good time together. Yeah. First thing, I had to get rid of my wrecked and enamored tail. No way I could get anything done mm -hmm. with him in tow. Get rid of Bogdan's bodyguard, steal Bogdan's keys. Uh, security. Okay, we're going to have to like look around a bit. A view to die for now. We're not gonna kill him. It's a bit much, don't you think? Uh, temper with the fuse box. There's a lot of things I could do. Uh, security. What's in here? Well, I can't pick a lock with him. I can't pick a lock with him, can I? Yeah, that would be bad. Mm. Need to get closer. Guess I'm not picking a lock with the security guard just right there. Welcome to my humble abode. Oh god damn it. Examine. The elevator was locked. That security guard is going to like kill me. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Um. <laughs> well, I knew it wasn't gonna work. It's fine. I'm a little bit sad. It's fine. All right. Let's see how this is gonna go now. Hmm. Have a good time. Okay. Oh shit! That's Golly. She can't see. All right. Okay, hundred dollars a mouthful. Yeah, man. Pogden hadn't skimped on the food. I considered packing a dinner to go, but that would have been tacky. Mm. All right, all right, all right. I'll go out with this guy. I may need to throw him off something. Ossie Panko told me to follow him upstairs. Okay. The elevator is locked. Security. Hmm. Ah, okay, okay. We're gonna have such a good time together, yeah? First thing, I had to get rid of my wrecked and enamored tail. No way I could get mm -hmm. anything done with him in tow. Okay. 
Hmm. Come up this way, maybe. Use a die for. Security, security. How am I going to get the security to leave me alone? That's bogged in. Can get his key. Welcome to my humble abode. I lifted Bogdan's keychain, which gave me free run of the place, including the elevator. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just have to get rid of this guy. How does, do I get rid of this guy? Okay. All right, Bogdan's elevator. Hmm. How do I get rid of this boyfriend? Is there? We can have a good time, yeah. Uh, hey, no, Gally is there. But let's bye. party here, yeah. I mean, going to the garage seems to be a lot better idea than sticking up, staying up here with this guy. There I was inside the garage. Punching the duress code into the alarm system would give me plenty of time to get the bike out. Got Bogdan's key. Grab. Grab. Oh. Cancel. Uh. Oh god. Uh, LT, whatever. Lock. What? Oh, for. And that was when I found out the bike wasn't in the workshop and the alarm was beeping for a code. Oh, God. Code 2580? Phew. The duress code worked, but the silent alarm was out. I had a moment to figure out where the bike was. Great. I know I saw someone come here. You go there, I will check here. Oh, great. Come 
Using high heels, like wearing high heels, has got to make this more difficult. Just got to. Oh god. Oh god, alright. You know, for now, I'm just going to say I'm going to give up because it's almost an hour that I've been recording this, which is kind of like my thing. Um, I probably am going to continue to play this game because I think it's very interesting. Um, the mechanics aren't very smooth. Um, there, uh, there's a bit of like movement delays and stuff that I'm finding a little bit frustrating, but um, I will probably continue to play it because it is kind of the game I like. Um, but either way, thank you so much for watching. This has been Giving It A Go, Thief of, Thief of Thieves edition of the series or something. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll come back for more. But most of all, I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Mwah.